hello friends in this video i would give you an overview of uh, microsoft defender for office 365 which is part of uh, microsoft 365 defender services microsoft 365 defender services consists of four offerings the first one is microsoft defender for endpoints so this is for your endpoints like windows 10 the second one about which we will talk about and see a demo is microsoft defender for office 365 so this is for our office 365 products like exchange teams sharepoint onedrive the third one is microsoft defender for identity so this is also known as azure atp in which we install uh, sensors on our on-prem domain controller so i have another video in my channel which you can view on how to set it up and how to use it the fourth one is uh, cloud app security so i do have few videos for it in my channel so go ahead and watch them on how to set it up in short cloud app security is to find out what all cloud apps are being used in our organization whether they are compliant or not and we can take action on them for example we can block them so what is the microsoft defender for office 365 so this is used to protect organization for from malicious content in emails links and other collaboration tools like teams sharepoint uh, onedrive so it includes uh, uh, threat protection policies reports threat investigation and response capabilities automated investigation and response capabilities so we will see them in a demo all four of these how to set them up it comes in three different plans the first one is eop which is exchange online protection so this is a cloud-based spam and malware protection so this by default comes with the e3 plan we can purchase uh, plan one or plan two separately and they contain eop in them for example plan one contains eop plus it includes safe attachments safe links atp for sharepoint onedrive teams anti-phishing and real-time detection so the plan two contains everything which is there in plan one and eop plus threat trackers threat explorer automated investigation and response and attack simulators first we will see how to configure threat protection policies for configuring threat protection policies we will go on to protection.office.com and under that we'll go to threat management and policy so we can configure policies for anti-phishing safe attachment safe links anti-spam anti-malware here and target them to users or we can go under preset security policies which are like baselines and we have two options standard protection and strict protection so the strict protection are the more aggressive ones so here i have enabled standard protection and selected where i want to apply them so i have applied it to the recipients of anudev.co.in domain so the eop policies are applied here and the atp policies are also applied to the same domain so that's the only setting we need just to apply standard protection and strict protection so we cannot configure what's there in these two standard and strict the second option is we can configure them individually here so we will see them one by one before i configure them individually i will disable the standard security policy so it's currently enabled so i'm going to disable it so the policy has been disabled and now we will go to ATP anti-phishing. Under anti-phishing, if we go under default policy, so this is the default policy name Office 365 anti-phish default. So this by default targets all the users in our organization and we can create a custom one here by clicking on create and target specific users and define our own settings. So if I name it custom one and click on next, I will select the recipient so I will apply it to all the users in my domain so I will select the domain name so if the recipient is anudev.co.in so this policy will apply and I will create this policy then I can edit and modify it so the policy has been created now so we can go ahead and uh, modify it so I clicked on it and here we can click on edit and modify these settings. So we will do that in some other video in detail about each of these policies. But let me show you how to configure them one by one. So this is ATP safe attachment. Here also 
we can create custom policies under global settings if we go we can turn on ATP for SharePoint OneDrive and Teams from here so what it does if any file in SharePoint OneDrive or Microsoft Team library is identified as malicious so the ATP will prevent users from opening and downloading the file so from here we will turn the ATP for SharePoint and OneDrive and from here we can turn on the save documents for office client so if any user is trying to open a file in office 365 pro plus then that file will first be verified by microsoft defender atp so we can also enable it from here and if i click on create here i can create my custom policy so i have given custom one name and here we can select the settings by default uh, attachments will not be scanned for malware we can set it to monitor where it will continue delivering the message after malware is detected and track scan result so it will deliver the message but track the result block will block the current and future email and attachments with detected malware replace will replace the attachment with malware uh, but deliver the message dynamic delivery will deliver the message immediately but it will keep on scanning the attachment and once it the uh, scanning is done it will reattach the attachment to the email here we can specify an email address where we want to redirect any blocked monitor or replaced attachment and then we will click on next and apply it to the recipients then we go to the third one which is our ATP safe links here under global settings we can define some URLs which we want to block we can use wildcard asterisk so these URLs will be blocked in the email messages and O365 apps for Office, iOS and Android. We can also enable safe links in O365 applications like Word, Excel, PowerPoint on Windows, Mac, iOS and Android, Visio on Windows. So what will happen when a user will click on a URL in one of these apps, Office 365 will first check whether it's malicious. If it is malicious, the user will be directed to a warning page. Here we can create the custom policy. Similarly, we can configure anti-spam policy and the anti-malware from here. We will do a separate video of all of these uh, one by one and go in detail. This video was only to give you an overview of uh, Office 365 Defender and what options it has and where in console you will go to configure them. This configuration analyzer will give you a overview of your configuration by default it's comparing the settings which i have as per the standard recommendation so i can compare them against the view strict recommendations as well so it will show me what all things are missing what all settings are missing and what i need to configure so in the red it's giving me seven recommendation here it's giving me one recommendation for anti-malware and if i click on adopt so that recommendation will be implemented my ATP safe attachment is fine so all settings follow strict recommendations apart from this we have additional policies like dkeem user submission enhanced filtering so we will talk about these in some other video so the next is the report so we can view real-time reports to monitor defender for office 365 performance we will go under reports and dashboard and there we can view those reports reports and dashboard so here we will see many reports so these are all available reports and we can view them so this is where you will get all the reports so i am seeing here spoof detection total two emails and good emails as two so i don't have much data here because i just enable these settings but in a production environment so you can view a lot of data coming here once you have enabled these settings then comes our threat investigation and response which comes with plan 2 so under this we have threat Det tracker which provides information about latest malwares and take countermeasures before it becomes uh, a threat so plan 2 provides us a proactive threat monitoring and uh, taking actions on them Threat Explorer for real-time reports to identify and analyze recent threats and Attack Simulator. So using Attack Simulator, we can simulate attacks such as spear, phishing, credential harvest, attachment attacks and password spray. 
so in our environment we can create uh, phishing emails and send to users and see what all users are responding to them so in the console under threat management we will see threat tracker here threat explorer we can view from here so currently it's uh, not showing me anything but in a production environment you can get some data here and the security teams can investigate and respond to threats using this uh, explorer then we have attack simulator using which we can set up a spear phishing attack we can do a brute force password attack so a brute force attack is a dictionary attack trial and error method generating multiple password guesses from a dictionary file against a user's password so it will try to guess the user password so if it's a simple password and it's there in dictionary so we will know what all users are using those simple passwords and we can take action and password spray attack will use some of the common passwords which uh, normally users use and check whether we have that in our organization or not the fourth feature is automated investigation and capabilities so whenever an alert is triggered instead of we taking a manual action the automated investigation and response it will gather additional data about the email in question which may have spam or malware and all the entities related to that email and it will show us the recommendations so these recommendations are viewed by the security team in the portal and they can approve and reject those recommendations so for this we will go under threat management and investigation so here we will see the recommendation so this comes with the plan two so i will make more videos on these features individually one by one and show you in detail what are these so this was just a overview and a demo of the capabilities of office 365 defender which is part of microsoft 365 defender services so i hope you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye bye